Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some more Bugs Bunny. Uh, no, it's not Bugs Bunny Lost in Time Let's Play. I'm doing something uh, slightly different uh, on this channel for a change, as you can clearly see what you're looking at right now. So, uh, a bit of backstory that uh, lately I've been rather keen, for whatever reason, to suddenly do some unpacking videos. More specifically, Yu-Gi-Oh, which you see here, which I'll get onto in a minute, and also Pokemon. I do have some Pokemon stuff behind me, which I'll probably do more unpackings of in the future, but obviously we've got to take it slow and uh, do a few other things first beforehand now uh, a few disclaimers of course now because I'm new to all this unpacking stuff and you know stuff like this obviously I'm not really knowing I don't really know what I'm doing basically <laughs> uh, thankfully with this one here I might as well give an introduction about this box set so this is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel Battle City box uh, this came out not too long ago it's relatively new I think this came out at some point last year or the end of last year, I think. 2020, that's for certain at some point. Uh, if we look on the back here, if I'm gonna be a bit careful, make sure we get it all on camera like here, you get all this lovely set of stuff right here. It's uh, all from Battle, Siri uh, Battle City, which is like, you know, it was series two and three from the original Yu-Gi-Oh series, of course. Of course, you got the God Cars, got tokens here, and various other monsters on here I'm sure you're very familiar with. Um, oh, by the way, um, yeah, it looks better, because uh, I think the light was shining on these cards here, so you might not have seen what they were, but you're going to see them in the uh, box in a minute anyway. Now, this one will contain, like, set uh, cards, um, which we'll get onto any second now. Um, but yeah, back to the um, disclaimer. Yeah, as I said, like, I'm very new to this. So if anyone who were to watch my videos very experienced with pack openings of this and Pokemon and various other things, any tips you can give me, I would really, really appreciate it. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad, go all guns blazing if you want to. Because I want to try and learn as much as I can so I am doing this properly. Even as something as opening the box itself and the packs. Because obviously I know when it comes to stuff like this you have to be rather careful. And if I were to open more rarer booster boxes and tins and all that, I know if I'm not careful, I am going to be absolutely destroyed by people, no doubt, on YouTube. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I want to learn. I really want to learn about this. I really want to get into it. I want to do a lot more pack openings in the future. Maybe, you know, various things. And, uh, you know, try to, you know, try to do, be a pro at it, basically, I guess. Now, like I said, it's my first time doing this now, so I'm going to try to be careful unboxing this. I actually have uh, two of these, if you might have noticed. Um, obviously, I'm going to um, let's do off this off camera quickly. I'm probably going to, like, keep one of them, because you never know. Some of these bad boys can go for value in the future. Whether this will or not, that remains to be seen, but uh, for now, we'll just uh, open just the one. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's uh, get that back in position. Right, that out of the way. I've got some, uh, obviously, these ready for uh, sleeving up some of the cards so no because no doubt some of these cards in here uh, are going to be very nice so i'm going to make sure to be careful with them so let's open the box and see what we get inside right so i believe as it said you get several decks and uh, it looks like we do indeed uh, so we've got obviously the god cards here uh we've got slifer hopefully the light won't uh get in the way of what you're looking at here okay so we'll open them in a minute and uh, what else do we have in here? We've got a random cardboard. That's part of the pack, no doubt. No doubt. So we've got all these uh, decks here. Uh, it looks rather thin. I mean, I'm guessing that does contain 40 cards. Like, obviously, here's the thing. Here's another disclaimer. I am not up to date with any of the modern Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I must stress that right now. <laughs> so any of these cards, I'm going to be looking through. Likely, I have never seen them before. Like, I don't know if these might have been used in the original Yu-Gi-Oh series. It has been quite a while since I've last watched them. But yeah, uh, so any of the modern cards, any of the modern rules, I'm really not familiar with, so I really apologise in advance for that. Of course, I am familiar with, you know, the guard cards, but just not these, probably these decks. I mean, i got to be really careful opening them. I might actually pause the video when I get all the decks out to unwrap them all and then look through them, because it'll probably take me way too long otherwise, and I know people who want to watch it rather get straight to the point. So we've got a, a deck here, we've got another deck here. The warrior returning alive. Talking one monster in your graveyard. Add that target to your hand. Speed duel. Uh, I'm guessing that's part of the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards design thing. If, if you like, I guess. But that's mine. This deck looks a lot bigger. Now that's 40 cards. Surely. Some decks are bigger than others, it would seem. Uh, we got this one here. 
Hopefully you can see that on camera, the effect and the card name itself, despite the light being a pain in the bottom. And uh, one last deck here. Ah, Dark Magician! I know Dark Magician! I mean, come on! Who doesn't know Dark Magician when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh? Like, come on now. I know this one at least. Oh, look, first edition. You never know. When I'm like an elder man with uh, grey hair, I'm sure this might be worth something one day. But anyway, and then obviously we have uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh mats. Um, quite a few. Oh, we've, got, we've got quite a variety of uh, mats you can see here. Let's see if I can try and get them all on here. I mean, I guess I could show them, but I guess it's just that similar layout of, you know, the monster zone, the uh, magic and trap, well, spell and trap, should I say, and obviously graveyard fusions, all that stuff. So I guess you don't really need to see all this. I'm sure most of you guys who will be watching this are quite familiar with it. So there you go, we've got four different sets of that. Right, um, now, before I pause the video to unlock all the decks, uh, Wes unlock uh, these, uh, I guess, promo cards, so to speak, I suppose. So uh, let's just do that quickly, and I need to be really careful. I think for these ones, I'm going to be um, unlocking, or uh, unpacking now. I'll probably put these in the sleeve, just because I imagine these ones will probably be worth the most. Well, look nice the most, I suppose. Right, let's hope the camera can focus on these. So, of course, we have... Slife of the Sky Dragon. I would assume the effect uh, is the same as uh, you know, all the past Slifer designs. I do actually, I've obviously done unpackings on my own offline, of course, way before doing this. So I own a, a few of these already. But this one, I would say, looks the nicest a lot. I mean, I must say, like, I really like um, the, you know, the rarity effect on Slifer, like the rainbows you see and the stars as well, like the summoning points and obviously the name itself. It's very, very nice. I really like these. All right, let's just. Be uh, careful, put this down here. Move that there. Okay, so obviously, of course, we've got Obelisk the Tormentor. Obviously, the same effect as I would imagine the previous versions of Obelisk. And uh, the Wind Dragon of Ra. Very nice, first edition, obviously. Very, very good, very, very good. Ooh, Buster Blade, yes. I do believe uh, Yugi uses this card uh, during um, Battle City. Uh, can the camera be able to focus? There we go, yeah we go. Yeah, look at that. Looks very, very nice. Uh, really like that. I, I mean, forgive me. I guess this is my first time doing this sort of thing, so I'm just like, a bit overwhelmed with how the cars look. Looks very, very good. Um, yeah. Very, very good. We've got a lovely uh, magic card here. Let's make sure you can see the whole card name. Paw of the Fallen. Once per turn, you can special summon one fairy monster from your hand. You must control no monsters to activate to resolve this effect. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty nice too. Never seen this card before though, but uh, hey, as I said, I think for each of these, very, very nice uh, Lost Win Trap Card. Target one face up, summon special summon monster on the field. Negate its effect. Also, its original attack points is half. Monster special summon from your opponent. Extra decks while this card is in your graveyard, except during the damage step. You can set this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. So again, as I said, I can tell from by the way it's been text and obviously with all these little extra text around the card itself. This is definitely a modern Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> That's for damn sure. And we've got the fire formation. Uh, just let you see it close up, like so. Very good. And then finally, the last one is Beaker, the Magical Warrior. And I believe Yugi uses this card at some point, but I think... Is it in Battle City, though? Wait, this is in... Oh, man. What? I think Season 4 he uses this monster, I think. I can't remember when. I'm sure it was Season 4, you know, with... Um... Oh, what's that it's magic card now? Um... Jeez, I can't remember what it's called now. It'll pop back into bed in a minute, but anyway. There's the effect. You know what the funny thing is? That magic card I'm thinking of, I actually own one. <laughs> and I can't remember what it's called. It's like the main feature of the goddamn series season 4, for God's sake. But there you go. That's all the promo cards. Now, uh, like I said, I'm going to quickly pause. Because I don't want you guys, you know, seeing me trying to unwrap all these for like several minutes. Oh, what's that? Someone called David. Yo, David. A skill card. Ah, yes. I can definitely tell this is the modern Yu-Gi-Oh deck and rules and all that. Definitely. <laughs> But anyway, uh, we'll quickly pause and uh, open all these decks, so BRB. Right, hello everybody, I'm back. And uh, yeah, to get back to my previous uh, comment earlier about that uh, magic card, it was Zeal of Oracalcos. I knew 
I should have gotten that beforehand, but there you go, I got it in the end. So yeah, I managed to unlock all the decks you get with the uh, box. Obviously, I've, I've, I've sealed up all... <laughs> sealed up, but you know what I mean. Um, put all the... Uh, all the rares in these sleeves, so they'll be nicely safe from dust and my hands. Uh, but yeah, this is the four decks you uh, get with them. Now, as I said, um, I'm not really familiar with how the modern, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh rules are and how it plays. You know, I'll keep saying this, I keep saying sorry, because obviously, like I said, when it comes to stuff like this, I'm very nervous, you know, doing it, because it's my first time and I want to make sure it's done properly. I don't want to make any mistakes. You know doing pack openings and make, you know i just want to know what i'm talking about basically so that's why i want to make sure um i'm doing it right but on that note yeah so uh we'll have a quick glance you know quick quick glance through these decks because obviously there is a fair few cards and i'm not going to explain everyone because i'll take forever so obviously we've got the dark magician obviously yeah, we've got dark magician so we'll just go for these oh no the blaster blazer nice a common one cool uh i'm guessing this is probably yugi's yeah swift guy is the fierce knight with some of these cards, so I'm guessing this is kind of like Yugi's deck, but it doesn't look like a Battle City one. Almost, it looks like a like a like there are some cards he, from this he uses from Battle City, but it looks like somebody used from later seasons. Like this is like I guess Yugi's like deck combined from like the first to like you know his last series basically. So uh, yeah, um, I mean don't I mean yeah I'll try and make sure I show every card like the name of it and the effect, even though most of them. You've probably already seen already like several times before. Magical Hats, of course. That's a very famous card he's used throughout the series. Uh, but some of these he's never really used before, I don't think. But, oh, Dark Paladin. Oh, that's a very nice card. Love the design of this magician. Of course, he has used this very famously against Kaiba when he beat him. This very monster. Well done, Yugi. Of course, there's another famous monster, of course. He's used in Battle City. And speaking of which, there's the Magnet Warriors for it. Oh, I've never seen this one before. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, yep, Giant Soldier of Stone, Destroy a Golem, a lot of rock monsters now we're going through. Uh, again, I feel this one is probably one of the later seasons he used this one. But uh, there you go. Mind Crush! Why did he, why he never used that effect from the later series, I do not know, but I'm sure people already asked that question before. So there you go. Getting close to the uh, completion now. Another famous set of cards right there. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, giant rat. Well, that's supposed to be something, isn't it? Uh, ooh, look at that. Why does Yugi have this? Excuse me? <laughs> what? Nanny? <laughs> Wait, what's that all about? Uh, right, uh, and that's deck one completed. Yeah, so I didn't, like, give, like, a proper, like, you know, analyst or, like, a proper look for all the cards. But as I said, these decks are relatively big, and it'll probably take me, like, forever to really get through them all. Now, this one's uh, more of a uh, smaller deck, it seems. So, uh, we'll see what's in here. Why spread runes? I'm more familiar with this card, actually, in the Yu-Gi-Oh games rather than the Yu-Gi-Oh series itself. Like, I'm sure it was used at some point, but was it actually ever used in the like original series? Like, what's the actual effect of it? When the monster declares, sorry, the one. So that's the actual real effect. See, I'm just used to like the game's effect, so it's obviously different to like, um, you know, it's obviously different to the real card itself. Mask of Weakness, which was used against Yugi, but it's not sort of something Yugi's own. Yeah, Mask of Dark Ruler. Yeah, I feel like probably some of these cards... Oh yeah, what's her name uses that? Is she using it? I hope I said that right. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I haven't. Yeah, she definitely used this monster too. So I feel like this deck contains like monsters and cards that, you know, Yugi and I guess even Kaiba's opponents had used over the course of the Battle Series, uh, Battle City, you know, duels. So uh, again, this one I'm familiar with more in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses than the actual series. But yeah, I would imagine, yeah... I feel like this is like again a combined deck of like several duelists into one, pretty much. Uh, yep, that's a very old card. Robert Life, Drop Off, Lost Wind. Hey, Jinzo, nice. Obviously a very famous card. Obviously, if you get one of these bam boys from when it first came out, you'll be earning a few quid if I do say so myself. Of course, this is probably not going to be worth anything, but you never know. As I said, when I become an elder, I'll be worth something. But in the meantime, as good as pennies. 
dip 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 as you can see for yourself what they are and the effect I mean going just from my camera you should be able to see it good that's all, that's all that matters really, as long as you can read the text, read the name of the monster, then uh, all is well with the world. <laughs> it would be very awkward otherwise if I'm showing you these cards and you can't even see what they are. Well, you'll be, see the, you'll be able to see the picture, but obviously not the uh, like the card effect and that. But that's the uh, second deck you get. i got to make sure not to mix these up, obviously, once... Um, once uh, the... Uh, once I've put them back all in the box. Right. On to the next uh, deck, so we've got this one here. You know what I just realized? It said, obviously, you get eight decks. So I'm a bit of a numpty. This would explain why probably some of these decks are fatter than the other ones, because, like, it probably actually contains two decks in one. So it's like two, four, six, eight, something like that. So that would probably would explain it. <laughs> so I'm a silly Billy. But anyway, so we'll go through, two, you know, two decks in one. How about that? So we got to... Uh, right, let's get in position. So we got these. Obviously, a very well known monster. Uh, yeah, so we've just gone from Yugi's cards, I guess, to suddenly Kaiba's cards. Obviously, he does use these uh, monsters quite often. X, Y, Z monsters. Machine ones, oh, I do believe. Ducker, you know, capital letters. Ducker! Ducker Mobile! Jade Knight. Okay. Uh... Machine Peacekeeper. United with stand. The equip monster, the equip monster gains 800 attack and defense for each monster, each face up monster you control. That's pretty good actually, all being said. It's quite a quite OP card, I feel. Once per turn, you can special summon one level four lower unit monument from your hand. So there's obviously a lot of machine based uh, magic cards, apart from this one. Formation Union. Again, if this is supposed to... Oh, rare Metamorph. Not just Metamorph, rare Metamorph. But as I said, if these are supposed to be designed to speed the duel up and it makes sense to have cards like this, it would make the duel a lot quicker. But like I said, I don't know much about the modern Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, so I might be completely wrong on that. Let's put these down here for a second. So uh, we have XY Dragon Canyon. XYZ Dragon Canyon. <laughs> Canyon? Cannon, rather. XZ Tank Cannon. YZ Tank Dragon. Holy crap, there's a lot of... Oh, look at that, four different fusions for this. Holy moly! Hey, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, that's a card I definitely know. I mean, for goodness sake, look at look at this beast. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Marvelous. Saga the Dark Clown. Kyber's monster from Season 1. Same with this one as well. Same with this one as well. Forest Raider. Yeah, this is definitely, I would say, Kyber's kind of deck, I would say. Definitely. Spear Dragon. Kaiser Glider, Fiend Sanctuary. I believe this was the card that was supposed to help you get beat Marek from Battle City. I mean, it kind of worked, but kind of didn't. So uh, rip to you get on that one. So exchange, shrink. Target one face up monster on the field. Its original attack becomes half until the end of this turn. I mean, yeah, it works like the anime, doesn't it? I think to, for the most part. Silent Doom, Asif Tran Hall. Negate an attack. Very common card that Kaiba used. Inspiration. Mass Beast. So this is partly, I guess, Marek's now deck, I guess, because obviously I recall him using this monster once. Shining Abyss. Is it? I don't know. I think it might be those uh, characters that use the mask monsters. Or of Illusion. Obviously a very old card from the old Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, again, like, I'm sorry if you've not seen all the... The, all the um, all the effects and the uh, text and all that, but I think some of these cards you've seen is pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure you've seen them many times already, so uh, you should probably know what they do and all that good stuff. So yeah, this is definitely like Kaiba slash the, those uh, guys who use the Mass Beast decks and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, quite a variety. <laughs> Alright, now for the final... Uh, I think this is the final one, I hope so. It'd be a bit awkward if I went for the same cards again, but I believe this is the last one, so... And I'm not actually seeing all this, so some of these cards are going to be blind to me. I actually don't know what's actually in this deck collection. Uh, so yeah. Hammer shot. It's hammer time. Draining shield. It would be funny if they actually made that card the hammer time. <laughs> nice reference, well done, well done. 
Mm, psychic Shockwave, Battle of the God, Rage, Rage, Rage. Ah, yeah, Red Eyes, Black Dragon. So are we coming towards now Joey's deck? Although, I say that, but he never used his Red Eyes for a Battle City, so, uh, technically, this card really shouldn't be in it, but everyone likes Red Eyes, so, you know, fan favor, why not? Okay, I guess not. Uh, what deck are we seeing here? Okay, I don't recognize any of these monsters. This is, oh, that's Joey's, so I'm guessing it is Joey's. Slash, I guess it's Joey slash Mize? Because I know, obviously, she has Harpy Lady, that's her signature monster. So I'm guessing this is like a combination of both um, uh, decks into one. But again, in some of these, I don't recall them seeing or them using, unless obviously they used them in the very later series. Twin Barrel Dragon. Funny, because obviously the original Barrel Dragon is actually a lot stronger than this. You would have thought, you know, Twin. Like, come on, man. This should be way more powerful. Skill Blue Magician. Buster Blader. Swordmaster. Performance of Sword. A Ritual Monster. Another Ritual Monster. Another mature monster. This, these are mature. Yeah, I was just making sure. Because, <laughs> like I said, with the modern Yu Gi Oh stuff, all I know, these could just be like the average color card now for these. But no, they're mature monsters, as I expected. I'm guessing these are. Yeah, these will be the, the summon order mature monsters. Very good. Magic formula. Used for Dark Magician Girl. Obviously, another mature monster for the White Dragon. Arch Fiend. Yep. Uh, Storm. The Puppet Master of Dark Ruler. Mirror Wall, yeah, this card, I remember in the anime series, and in the original, and, well, I guess, original Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Thrills and all this, this card's OP as fuck, but what's the actual effect? Half your attack, of your opponent's attack months, once per turn, standby pay, pay 2,000 life points. Yeah, I think that's a bit more balance. <laughs> so you can only really use this for, like, a couple of turns before you had to get rid of it, unless you had, like, cards that can, like, give you, you know, so many more life points, it would be, like, crazy. So yeah, understandable, yeah, having that side effect, otherwise this card would be pointless. It might already be banned probably, or for I know, but it would definitely have been banned if that weren't a side effect. Uh, Audion uses this, yeah, and yeah, now we're coming towards like Audion's deck, I guess. How I remember that, I do not know, but yeah. It's just like so many, it's like a, band, a bunch of cards roll into one, you know. And then here's all, ah, so... These will be, uh, wow, look at all these. Holy moly. So, I see. So this will be... Ah, right, so there was one person I watched for, I can't remember his name, but I recall him using these cards um, against his friend in a duel, and these give you basically bonus, like, effects to help you speed up the duel, basically. Like, you get, like, extra abilities. Like, these are, like free effects if you like. So this one for example as you can see during your main phase what is the control slide for the sky dragon draw until you have four cards in your hand. So you can like say like you know activate this and it's like you know hey I got Slifer's attack up to 4k in your face sunshine and then you know kill your opponent maybe knock down a lot of life points. So yeah obviously all these cards will have their own like extra boost if you like. It's funny how I don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh stuff but yeah, I remember somewhat remember these somehow. <laughs> That's crazy, really. You think about it. But there you go. Yeah. So all these will just tell you. Yeah. So all these will. So probably all these cards, all these deck, will apply to these cards. You're seeing like all these duelists. But obviously, most of them you see are indeed from Battle City, apart from these people. I don't know who these are. Hmm. Maybe they made a one-off appearance or something in the Rigo and Yu-Gi-Oh series. But yeah. They are to help you speed up duel. That's why it's probably called speed duel. That all makes sense now. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm slowly learning, guys. I'm slowly learning. <laughs> Even though I don't ever plan to probably ever duel with these decks because I don't know anyone else in personal life that plays Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm too old now for that. No, sorry. They're too old, they will say, for that. But uh, hey, I wouldn't mind playing Yu-Gi-Oh! to this day if I had someone who knew how to play it. I mean, as I said, it'd be nice to learn the new Yu-Gi-Oh! rules, and it definitely... But that's pretty much it. That is all the um, the decks you get with it. I mean, give it all bunch together. I guess you can just make your own decks out and then add the you know those skill cards or the speed card effects or whatever you saw at the end there, and then um, do what you wish. Innit? And then obviously we got all the promo cards as I said has been sleeved up. Uh, I don't as I said I don't think I'll need to like sleeve up all the. I mean. Fuck no, there's like way too many cards. Only enough for the other like, um, for the other uh, pack openings I'm going to be doing. Because yes, I do plan to do a lot more in the future. 
I am going to be starting off slow, uh, I will be blunt, these didn't obviously cost too much to buy, um, but of course, you know, if I do have, if I am able to save up a lot, which hopefully I'll be able to, I'll open more rare boxes, more packs in that, I mean, with Pokemon for example, I do have some semi-rare um, booster box, not rare like the first editions and all that, because fuck me, that's way too much, <laughs> but uh, you know, you know, semi-rare, something that'll be like, you know, be like, hmm, That'd be worth a watch. <laughs> but I said, this is my first time doing this. I really hope I did it right. Anyone who's obviously an expert at this sort of stuff, you know, whether it's just Yu-Gi-Oh itself, like the game itself, or like unpacking and all that, please, any feedback is really appreciated. You can, you can be as critical as you like, because I want to make sure I do this right going forward for more unpacking, you know, unpacking videos, especially if, you know, it's going to be like opening rare stuff, because i got to be really careful with those. Um, these not as much, obviously they're relatively new. I just gotta be careful with these promos, I suppose, because these will probably be worth the most. So I'll put that uh, in the nice safe place, and I guess put the rest of these in the box, and uh, keep this one sealed for the future. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna get Cracker editing this and get this uploaded very soon. Uh, thanks, yeah, thanks so much, and I'll see you guys later for some more, hopefully more unpacking videos.